Hey, what up, everybody? It's your boy Darnell, and I want to welcome you to another episode here on AZI TV. Today, we got some special ladies in the building doing something very unique, but not so different, man. We have Miss Kiki Love and Miss Niche B from OMG, aka Orgasmic Melanin Goddesses. What's yeah. up, ladies? Hey. Hey. What's going on with y'all? Nothing much. Well, a lot, actually. A lot. <laughs> A lot is going on. Let me not lie. Yeah, very much so I know I know we was talking off camera, and there's a lot of information they're going to uh, mm -hmm. pour out to you guys. But before we jump into any of this information, kind of tell the people who you are, where you come from, and how'd you get into this particularly unique environment that you're in. I'm let you go first. Okay. <laughs> Hi everybody. I'm Miss Kiki Love, and I'm from the Bay Area. No, I'm not from here. Don't don't claim that. <laughs> I'm from the 510, respect it. Um, yeah, I'm um, born and raised Cali girl and came out here in 08 and um, became a bedroom candy consultant in 2015 and met this beautiful young lady to my left in 2019 and we started our business in 2020. Um, and yeah. We've been just rocking and rolling ever since. Okay. And then Miss Nisha. Yeah. Nisha B. B. Yeah. yeah Miss Nisha B. So I am originally from Detroit. Okay. D Town. Yeah. It's a lot of Detroit people here. Mm -hmm. I've been here for 15 years. And um, I was approved when it comes to sex. Okay. I was pretty much approved and um, I needed some money and I was like, you know what, sex sells. So I got into bedroom candy. I became a consultant. And what I realized is that, you know, anytime I'm going to sell something, I want to understand it. So I had to educate myself about, you know, sex toys and sex and all of those different things. And it became very intriguing to me. Uh, not only that, I realized that a lot of women, I was in my 40s at the time, and I was like, a lot of women, even my age, don't understand their bodies. And so that's the reason why I really got into it. And I thought here in Phoenix, I didn't think that there aren't that many bedroom candy consultants. And I actually was in Atlanta for a bedroom candy consult, uh, bedroom candy event and connected, found out that Kiki was here doing a, a, a vendor event mm -hmm. and we connected. I was like, oh, I didn't know anybody else was doing bedroom candy. And we connected and then she told me about the dream for the expo. Um, she's had this for over a decade in her mind. She was like, I really want to do this. And we just connected like, you know, we're like yin and yang. I'm the worry ward. She's like the everything's gonna be all right, woo sa type of person. Mm -hmm. But we really work very well together. And um, so we incorporate our business in 2021. And of course, then the pandemic hit and all of that stuff. And so we did some virtual things, but this is our big baby. And so we're really, really excited about this expo and just and excited about our people. So what is the, the candy, what is that? Bedroom candy, yeah. <laughs> you know who Candy Burris is from, uh, she was in a group escape. Yeah. And then she's on uh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. So she is a businesswoman. She owns Bedroom Candy. It is a, it's, think about like Tupperware where you have consultants that go out and they do the parties and they make, they're independent consultants. Mm -hmm. So it's the same thing with Bedroom Candy. So uh, the line is very high end quality uh, products. A lot of their uh, bath and body products are vegan, um, uh, paraben, free, paraben free. And people think when they think of bedroom candy, they think that it's like, oh, it's only sex toys. But really, that's probably about thirty percent of the line. They also sell. I sell they also so sell makeup. Much, I sell so much of the bath and body. Stuff. Yeah, and we have stuff for I men. Have Constantly, yeah. I just like one of our, our our homeboys, Derek. He just reached out to me and was like, "Yo, you got some more of that body butter? I need some more. Like I'm out." Yeah. So we constantly get hit up for the bath and body stuff because it's just amazing quality. We use it ourselves. So yeah, I use it every day. And um, no bedroom candy is something that is uh, needed in our. And it's a black woman. And it's a black woman. A black woman that started it, and she could have just put them on the shelves, but yeah. she wanted to empower other 
women and other people, even men, men and women, of course, the majority of the consult, a great majority of the consultants are black. Mm -hmm. But, um, and then it's just high quality. So that's how we connected. But what I loved about, what I love about Candy too, is even when she did her convention, she always talked about, you are a business. And that's what people have to understand. Even if you go and work for someone else or you do hair, you do nails, you are a business. So learn how to capitalize on that, incorporate, become a business, get the benefits of a business. And so that's why um, Kiki and I formed our partnership. So let's let's jump into this uh, formation, man. Kind of break it down to the people. Uh, what is it in general? What is OMG? Yeah. So orgasmic melanin goddesses, basically our whole thing is about creating safe spaces mm -hmm. um, for people of color. Mm -hmm so that we can talk about, we can normalize conversations around sex right. and sexuality, se sexual health and wellness. Um, particularly in the BIPOC community, you know, we, fi uh, we find that there's a lot of, you know, in our upbringings and things like that, people have desires, but they cl they're closeted because we're told good girls um, don't do that or you're not supposed to do that or that's nasty or all these different things. And the problem with that, too, is when you're in the closet about those conversations, you also, you know, it impacts our health and wellness because we don't go get the help we need. We don't go get the testing we need. We don't sometimes we don't um, practice safe sex, you know, and things like that. And so if we can open, bring people out of the closet, normalize those conversations and how that then people can have fun, live their lives, enjoy it, but still be safe. Mm. So that's really what, what we do. That's deep. Yeah, but we do it in a fun way. We like to do events. Because mm -hmm. we can sit and lecture and talk to you about, so sex is this and that. But we're like, no, let's play naughty bingo. You know, or let's do something really sexy and fun. But at the same time, you you know, you take something away with it. And she learn loves something. board games. Yeah, I'm the so, game girl. <laughs> she loves board games, but she loves to get dressed up and play Catwoman. <laughs> Where did Catwoman go? Yeah, but you love to do that, friend. And so, <laughs> so what we decided when we decided to start this business was we wanted to combine her love of war games and dressing up. Mm -hmm. I love cartoons and bowl cereals. So I was like, okay, I could just call out the numbers mm -hmm. and be the comedic entertainment. Gotcha. Believe it or not, I'm very, I'm very introverted, but I'm also hilarious. Yeah. And so I just, I like to be the comedic timing to all of her talking. So I'll just, I'll do my thing. Right, and then I do a lot of the business mm -hmm. behind the scenes. Gotcha. Like, all of that, incorporate and do all of that stuff. Yeah, That's my like judge. We have, we know what our talents are, and we work off our talents. She's, she has her talents. There's things she's good at that I'm like, you handle that. Yeah, I'm she's the social, the social media, media person, person, and I'm the one that's like, okay, I'm putting together this letter. I'm doing this. Yeah, because um, she, this I thing. tell her, I tell her all the time, that sounds real white, friend. Because <laughs> you make it real white on on paperwork. Right. Because I'm not, I'm, we both work corporate jobs and we're both trying to get out of our corporate jobs. I can sound real white at my corporate job, but I don't want to. <laughs> I don't want to sound real white. I mean, this is my my fun job. And I tell people that all the time. This is my fun job. So, but she be trying to get me on track and I be like, friend, I don't, I don't want to sound white. But we got to get this. I'm like, no, friend. So I just do it. Yeah. So she'll, she'll it make works it real, out. Though. Yeah. She'll make it real white on the, on the she camera. What she what she She's telling everything. It's, it's not about making it white. It it's just, it's, the, it's, white. it's about making it. It's basically sounding it. <laughs> Yeah, okay, I, I get you. You I, get what I'm yeah, saying. Yeah, so yeah. The, the bottom line is is that I have certain talents on things yeah. and she has certain talents on yeah. things and and we we um we play to that. So yeah. that's the cool thing about a partnership is that you're not at it alone. You have somebody that, you know, that can do certain things and that you do certain things and then we work it that way. I love it. So let's talk about this event coming yes. up, man, because Ooh. you know, a lot of people like you said, you know, 
talking about sex is is not a comfortable conversation not for right. a lot of people, well, right? And you say with even except in, us. yeah, well, except for you guys, but you say even in our community, yes. a lot of people are kind of hush hush about it. Yes, black folks are very sexually conservative, right? And it was the way that we were raised. I, you know, I can't speak for all black folks. I, I don't have that lived experience, but I can speak for myself. And I grew up in the church, and sex was a no no thing. You only have sex just appropriate. You only have sex when you get married. Um, everything else is just it's sin, 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 sin. But hold up. But I, I, I asked this question. See, in the church, you, you're not allowed to ask questions. See, but I'm aware. Yeah, you know. They're, they're, they're um, no, no, you don't have to say yeah. names. But yeah, a lot. Of, I, but a lot of these churches, they don't asking a whole bunch of questions will get you like. You lose you yeah. fast. Right. Yeah. So you, when you start asking these questions, so I asked the question, I'm like, well, what if it's not meant for me to get married? Because marriage is a ministry. Mm -hmm. And what if it's not meant for me to be married? Am I supposed to just be out here just celibate? Why? For the rest of my life, for the rest of my days? Because I'm gonna fuck. So I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> like and they got, they literally, I was at a church event and they was, I'm like, that's all well and good to these kids. And you can sit up here and play games and patty cake, patty cake all day with these children. But I'm over 30. I am going to have sex. So again, at the time, I'm like, marriage is a ministry. You can't expect somebody that has been married, divorced, and doesn't really desire to be married again. Mm -hmm. So what do you tell those people that don't desire to be married or don't desire that in their lives? What do you tell them? Or what do you tell people who are married? Right. There's a lot of women that are married and don't understand that they deserve pleasure as well. Right. Mm -hmm. And so they're married and they're thinking they're living their duty, they're doing their duty and it's like, okay, my husband, he got his and you know, I've never had an orgasm. It's like you're 40 and you never had an orgasm. Right. You're 50 and you never had an orgasm. That's how, and I, so started, that's how I started this business. Um, like me and my grandmother and my aunt, my great aunt, 70 years old, 68 years old, had a conversation about intimacy and then children, divorced, married, all that. And they've never had an orgasm. And I was like, what? Yeah. And it brought tears to my eyes. So I was like, you've been married, you've had children, you've been divorced, you've had other men in your lives, and you've never experienced that before. They didn't even know what an orgasm was, so I had to explain to two senior citizens what an orgasm was. So it prompted me to want to do more and more learning and more research about this thing called sex, right? And, and our people and why we have so much hangups around it. And it, and it has to do a lot with um, slavery and just tied up in all of that. So when I say that we have true like hangups around sex, these are the things that we want to talk about at the expo. Hey, what's going down, everybody? It's your boy, Darnell, and I want to thank you so much for coming on here and watching the interview. If you can, please subscribe to our YouTube channel at Arizona Informant TV, where you will get all the latest content, all the updated information, and all the latest news. So again, please subscribe to the channel, and we will see you soon. So this expo that you speak of. Yes, let's talk uh, about let's, it. Let's, 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 let's get into it, you know what I'm saying? Yes. Um, tell me. You said this expo has been sitting on you for a while, right? Yes, so, so this is my baby. This okay. is something that I created in my mind when I um, when I was really just like, again, listening to my, my ancestors and praying, and they had this thing, and I was like, do what? You want me to do what? Create what? I'm not doing that. And so this was before I even started bedroom camp. And so I just, I sat and I'm like, no, I'm just going to work my corporate job and just chill. Like, what are you talking about? But no, it was sitting in my belly. It was sitting in there and it, it fostered all of these other ideas. And and I said, okay, I'm on. if this don't work, I'm going to sit down and just work this corporate job. But literally everything that I prayed for has fallen, in fallen into place. So clearly this literally needs to work. It's a mission. It's a yeah. mission. When the moment she told me 
the light bulb went off because in my um, in my experience as a bedroom candy consultant, you sit around in parties, and I've been in parties where there were um, non-people of color, and then there are parties with people of color. And I noticed with the parties of people of color, it's like you talk about certain things and like, uh, you know, all that kind of stuff. And so we always have to tell people this is a safe space. Don't, you know, you may not be interested in, in it, but somebody in this room might be, and you don't ever want to make them feel uncomfortable. And so that's one of the things that why I connected, because I was like, why is it so so much that, you know, we get all these hangups and people have desires. They're closeted really a lot of times. People desire things. Why do you think when you watch porn and you Google stuff, like it's some of the, you know, so the number one Google searches in porn are like some of the like wildest things because people desire certain things that they cannot live <laughs> themselves or they feel uncomfortable living out those fantasies. And, and then the question is, are you really truly living you know your truth if you can't just be free even with your partner you can't tell them your desires or what you want or what makes you feel happy or excited and, and, and so the whole purpose of this is like our motto is bring your curiosity and leave your judgment at the door so this is going to be a safe space we might talk about something that you might not be interested in but we're going to expose you to it to understand it because maybe you're not interested in it because you heard you don't know the version of it. You know, you heard from somebody else and somebody else what BDSM is or what this is. Now we're bringing the people, the experts in front of you to explain what it really is. Right. And they happen to look like you. Right. Okay. So that's the whole purpose of it. But we also realized that like when we started this journey that there are black burlesque dancers and black kink um, Femme doms and there's a, you know Reiki black and, yeah right here and tantra and, yeah. and people don't even our community don't don't even know where these people are that look like them so it was a great opportunity for us to be like in addition to educating our people we can also bring a have a platform for our people that are already in this industry to be able to say here I am look I look just like you this is what I do if you're interested come to me don't come you know to somebody else so it's bringing the community together it just happens to be in the realm of sex sexual health and wellness because that's our you know that's you know that's our expertise that's where we're into and so and the whole thing is black people are not a monolith so come and look and see all the things that we do and how we love and how you can learn to love yourself more and to show that you're deserving of desire and pleasures and so then you can go back to your partner and bring your partner so y'all can learn together you know what i'm saying and then um y'all can go home and have the greatest sex life ever so it's, it's more of a teachable moment for a lot of people. It is. Right? It is. But we're going to entertain, too. We're you know, nobody wants to sit and be lectured all day long. We're, we're big advocates in getting testing. Yes. And getting tested. And so we are going to have a camp community and Southwest. Um, so they do testing on site. So black people can be tested. Because yes. black women are the number one still even though we're only 13% of the population, my God, but we are the number one to get HIV and AIDS. Mm -hmm. So we advocate for getting tested and they're gonna be doing on-site free testing and giving away home, um, kits. home kits as well. So there will be um, condoms and all types of stuff. And we're so excited, the, the very uh, number one the condoms, the very first and only black owned condom company. Yes. We'll be giving in the swag bags for you guys. I don't know what they're giving. They give Yes, they are a sponsor. Time. They partner with us as a sponsor. Yeah. Black owned condom company. A lot of people we tell people here in Arizona and they like they're what? like, what? And you actually yeah. when you put the zip code in, they actually are in some CVSs here because they're in CVS, Walmart. Target. And, uh, Target and a lot of people don't know that there's a black owned condom company and they're very durable they have a lot of different types use of condoms so <laughs> I mean it's time. it's time for our people to know that in the sex industry too we talk about buying black also buy your condoms and buy your toys and stuff from black owned businesses so we're promoting that as well okay so I, that was going to be my next question so when, when is the event? it's February 17th through the 19th so we have two types of tickets. There's the VIP ticket, which you definitely want, and it's a limited number, so you definitely want to get those. Um, with the VIP, 
uh, Friday night is a reception and it's our meet and greet reception. And then we'll have kind of a podcast out where our special guests and some of the community uh, people in the community who are going to be a part of the event on Saturday and Sunday will interview them like podcast style. But we're also going to feed you. There'll be some drinks, you know, it's going to be really, really nice. And then you also get to shop with the vendors before the general admission day on Saturday during the day. So Saturday and Sunday during the day, that's when we'll have the main stage and um, we'll have um, a lot of the panel discussions. We're going to talk about LGBTQ issues because, you know, we need to unpack that in the black community. What a lot of people don't understand is, yes, you have the LGBTQ community, but a lot of times in any of those movements and stuff, a lot of times still black people are, are underrepresented in that. There are a lot of their issues. And so we have to understand that we have to ally with that community as well because they're black first, right? Um, same thing, we're going to talk about ethical non-monogamy because a lot of... Because I'm polygynous. Yeah, a lot of people, people don't know that. And uh, I, what is that? So polygyny is when there is one, one man and then Two yeah. So, okay. Yeah. Po so polygamy. Yeah, no polygamy. Polygamy is yeah. yeah that's different. It breaks down. You got poly. There is a form of it. So yeah. you've got polyandry, which is one woman and multiple spouses, and then you have polygyny, which is one man and multiple spouses. Yeah. And I want to have one husband and then a sister. And the reason why I chose that is because in our community. Uh, for every six black women, there's only one black woman. And for me, I only get black men. And so I have chosen to be selfless and give my, my partner to somebody else that is willing, because I want black women to be married. Um, so once I find my partner, I'm not the love of my life. Who is on my so what if he's not with that? If that's something, then, then he's not the one for me because I feel I feel as though that that's the most selfish thing that I can do for my community is to give of myself and give to my husband that, right? And so for me, it has nothing to do with sexual. It's it's not about sex for me with with her. Um, it's more of community. So we will be having topics around non-ethical non-monogamy and what does that mean, right? right? And the reasons behind that, and a lot of the times people think it's just about sex. I don't want nothing to do with, I am not attracted to, to females. For me, it's about community because I'm pro-black and because I know that there's not enough black men to go around, unfortunately, we have those stigmas in our community. So there's going to be some voluntary or involuntary <laughs> right. sharing around here. Right. Basically. And I've been seeing some involuntary sharing around here where it turned into violence. Yeah. And so for me, I am not going to be that person ever to fight in the street over community day. That's crazy. Yeah. So, I am I am the type of person that if if she's in line with what we align with, come on, sisters, come on, let's and raise the family and together. Let's raise the family together. <laughs> let's do that. Does she? It, but a lot of people have different reasons for right. um, ethical non-monogamy, and what what you're finding is that more and more black people, people in the black community or BIPOC community are um, looking at that as an option. Like, they're like, you know what? If some women are like, well, men cheat anyway, or they gonna cheat anyway. Might as well be out in the open about it. But we have to unpack it and talk about it because, you know, they're still in those lifestyles and in all of those polyamory, all of that. There's rules to that. Yes, you can still cheat yeah. in a polyamorous relationship or they're still cheating. So those are things, conversations that we want to have for people who might be curious about it or want to know about it. Now you've got people in that community that can come and say, hey, this is why I do it. Like she explained about polygyny. This is why I do what I do. And, you know, and yes, in this lifestyle, if you ever want to approach it, here's the best way to do it. And here's some tips and here's some websites or whatever, or follow me on Instagram, whatever it is, if you want to know more tips. Okay. 
Oh, well, like I said, man, <laughs> it's a lot of it's a lot of new things. Yeah, I mean, some yeah. things that, but you know, it's a lot to unpack. But you can't do it all in one interview. But I can yeah. say, you know, let's kind of jump into your guys' event yeah, um, yeah. and and kind of talk about some of the things that you're gonna have there yeah. that you haven't already explained. Yeah. So um, we're also bringing uh, Sir Marvelous. So we have two headliners that are coming. So even though I, really we are highlighting the local people. Mm -hmm. Majority of the people are going to be local, but we're bringing some headliners. We're bringing um, sensual BDSM dominant. His name is Sir Marvelous. You can see him on Angela Yee's lip service. You can look up Sir Marvelous. He was on Horrible Decisions. He was on the Cocktails podcast. He's been on a lot of podcasts. He's from yes, he's from New York, and um, he's well known. Has a really big following. He does sessions. He's bringing his sub with them, and they're going to do a whole show with Fireplay. That's all I'm gonna say. So wow. if you want to come and see the show, you gotta come. But he's also going to talk about because he's big on introduction to BDSM. So he's going to talk about what BDSM is. He even will take some volunteers or people want to come up and maybe, you know, participate. Um, and he'll, you know, do some demos if they want to do that. But I've already had a few people say, I volunteer as tribute. Yeah. So because this is his first time coming to Arizona, he's got a big following and people have been wanting him to come. This, so we're excited. We're also bringing um, Dr. Tamara Rose. Uh, we met her through Bedroom Candy. She's a she's a um, sex therapist, and she's always been on our panels with Bedroom Candy and teaching us about sex and sexuality. She's a wound healer. She's an author of many many books. Uh, Bedroom Candy even sells some of the books that uh, she um, offers, as well as um, so. On that, we're going to talk about like the healing parts, unpacking sexual trauma. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we can talk about fun stuff, but we got to talk about we got to unpack trauma and issues and things that people have to get them past there's reasons why some people don't have orgasms or they can't enjoy sex because they might have been you know victims of um incest or sexual molestation all those different things and how do you unpack that and where do you go to get that type of healing who who do you talk to for that so that you can come up from out of that let that go and then get some some healing we're going to have um, a sexy masquerade party Saturday night. And we actually have a body paint specialist. So she'll, she'll come. And if anybody wants to get, you know, some body paint or maybe they want to get their face, their, maybe their mask um, painted on, they can do that. We're going to have vendors. And we're making it, it's not going to be a whole lot of vendors. We'll have some food trucks and then we'll have some vendors. And we're being very specific. You know how sometimes, because we used to be vendors, when you go to events and they just want your money. Like, we don't care if you make money, just pay the vendor fee. And then they have like five people that sell the same thing that you sell. And so you can't really um, make money from that. And so we want to have a variety of vendors that people can actually come and see different people. And then you know you're going to make some money. That was important to us. Mm -hmm. Um... And then uh, that's, uh, pre oh, we're going to have classes. So uh, we'll have a couple of small classes. We have someone that's going to teach a class about sex positions. And then we have someone that's going to teach a class on fellatio and cunnilingus. So if you want to get better about give a head, that's oh, basically what it is, gotcha. oral sex. Okay. So if you want to get better on that, we actually have someone who is an expert who's going to give you and tips. No, I'm not teaching that class. <laughs> But just to give you tips to be able to um, take home with you and practice. You know what I'm saying? We all want to get better in our sex lives. That's the whole purpose. And so it's about being curious, learning things, but also getting better at something that you are super interested in. That is very, very different. Yeah. You know, be honest with you. Like I said, we, we've had, like, you know, I think a 10 minute conversation off camera. Um, <laughs> but you guys have a lot of a lot of stuff that you're going to be bringing to people's attention. Yeah. Um, and I think it's like very unique and different. You know, I've never again, I, I'm not in your guys's, you know, what I'm saying, at field or yeah. area. So I wouldn't know of all this stuff that goes on. You know, what right. I mean? um, but, you know, for the people that are interested, how would they buy tickets? How would they get a hold of you? How would they, you know, what's the address? Like, how would they connect with you? So the uh, the event is in Glendale at PhD Studios. It's at 45th and Bell. I don't have the exact address, but I know if you go on our website, you can get it. Our website is omgoddesses.com. So it's O-M-G-O 
E-D-E-S-S-E-S.com. Um, and you can click on Expo or you can do Slash Expo. And it'll take you, it'll show our two headliners. It'll kind of give you an idea of what it, the event is about. And then from there, you can also purchase your tickets. You can get VIP. Now, VIP includes the Friday night reception. It includes the um, the expo on Friday and Saturday. Um, Saturday and Sunday, I'm sorry. And the ticket to the party. So if you get that VIP, you get everything. If you get the general admission, you'll get um, the Saturday day and the Sunday day. But then you can also buy... Um, a party, a ticket to the masquerade party. And we did that a la carte because some people might not be able to have to work during the day, but they want to party with us. So they can just buy a ticket to the party. So um, just come and enjoy it. Have fun. And like we always say, leave your judgment at the door. Bring your curiosity. You're gonna, It's going to be amazing. And it's getting traction. Like we have people that are reaching out to us from other states. Even um, we had a brother call us from the UK say he want to do it out there. Mm. So because it's a much needed event. So we know we know we're on to something. We know that people are excited about it. And like, you know, we partnered with uh, Southwest Center. We partnered with uh, Can Community <laughs> Health. The condoms have come, has come on. And so more and more people are like really excited about what we're doing and want us to even take it on the road. That is different. So let me ask you this. If people wanted to build with you guys, connect with you guys, bring you out to speak, you know, to their business, schools, whatever, how would they do it? So they can go on to our omgoddesses.com and they can click contact. And we actually are going to be uh, speaking on February 25th in Tucson at uh, Sex by Southwest. So we're going to do um, a presentation on um, Don't Be Afraid of Sex Toys. Mm -hmm. And then on April 25th, we will be at um, Southwest Love Fest in uh, Tucson again. And we're uh, speaking, we're doing a presentation on um, sex toys for single, single, I'm sorry, solo play, couples, and group play, as well as, you know, we're going to touch on um, sex toys for LGBT, good toys that are good for the LGBTQ community, as well as persons with disabilities. Because a lot of people don't think about, they don't look at people with disabilities as sexual beings, but, you know, they just have a disability. That doesn't mean that they don't have sexual desires. And because they may have limited mobility or certain, you know, certain things that they can't do, we talk about different toys that they can use that can still, you know, help them have a wonderful sex life. Very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Very interesting. Well, look, ladies, I appreciate so much you guys stepping in here and telling me about your business Thanks and your me. event no problem man it was humbling just to kind of get educated on some stuff that's going on so again your event is february 17th through the 19th through the, the week 19th. after super bowl y'all come on People, strategically we did it oh yeah. Yeah. We about the podcast, just a bit. oh yeah we do have a podcast it's called sex love and the black experience we'll be rolling out we've already done about five episodes and we'll be rolling um, those out. And if there's anyone that um, wants to talk to us around the world of sex, love, and the Black experience, we want to highlight you here in Arizona. Reach out to us again at omgoddesses.com. Or and, go to our Instagram. Yep. Go to our Instagram. It's omg20. No, omgoddesses20. Yeah. On Instagram. Or you can follow us on Twitter. Um. Oh, I'm Goddesses. Yeah. And then yeah. on Facebook as well. And that's Oh, I'm Goddesses 20. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Well, look, ladies, I appreciate you so, so much, man. Thank and you. listen, man, we'll see you guys there on the 17th yes. to the 19th. Yes, think of real sex. Like you say, I think of real sex for the melanated folk. Yes. Y'all yeah, hear that? <laughs> be there, man. We'll see you guys there. Thank you again.